I can't even say it. Oh, you guys have a puppy. Becky's in the middle of counting the money because before we take off, you have to count the money, see if they gave it the right amount. And I'm sitting over here like this because we had to do like the drive through thing, the drive through. Oh my God. And Becky goes, yeah, we have a puppy. I think Becky thought the woman was asking in general if we have a dog. But Becky, since she was counting the money, didn't see that the woman was looking in the back seat saying, oh, you have a puppy in the back seat. So she goes, hold on, let me get your puppy a treat. Oh, and I was sitting here like, oh my God, do we tell her? Who's going to tell her? But I'm going to say, it's the sweet southern kindness for me. I'm going to go home and I'm going to give this to Twinkie. <laughs> Becky's getting gas. I'm sorry for that door. But literally, I... I'm that type of person where I don't want to correct someone. I would feel too embarrassed to be like, I feel embarrassed for them to be like, no, that's actually a bag. Cause she was so happy. She was like, oh, you got a puppy. I can kind of tell. I mean, I can kind of see why she would think that. What does it look like? Kind of like if you're not looking at it directly, directly, it looks like a curled up dog. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, you got a puppy. <laughs> a puppy bag. I mean, it's literally a bag. Oh my God, I feel so... That's sweet. Twinkie's gonna get this though. Um, okay. <sighs> this is my new camera. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. I currently don't have a tripod for this camera because there is none that I can find. The only ones they have are on Amazon. We were at Best Buy for over an hour. They sold us the wrong tripod. They sold us a tripod for, um, whatchamacallit, our phones, and then sold me a charger for a completely different camera. This camera is new, so maybe they just didn't know. So I'm holding my camera. I've never held it before. I usually have a tripod, so I don't know if I'm smothering the mic. I don't know. Is the quality okay? We're gonna work on this together. We're gonna figure this out. So after the annoying time at Best Buy because I was stressing out because I don't do technology. Since I didn't get much sleep, Becky and I were tired. We went home and we took a nap. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm sorry, guys. And I think we napped for, what would you say, an hour or two? Yeah. And her sister and her sister's husband came over and now we're all gonna go grab, grab a bite to eat together. And then we have to run to Walmart, get Becky's prescription, and maybe just look around a little bit, you know, just dilly-dally. So yeah, that is like what's been going on. I really hope, oh yeah, and not only that, I had to figure out how to even use this camera, like what to do when it comes to, um, like how to even get the videos uploaded. Oh my God, I feel like someone's looking at me. It's just been a lot. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, I know you guys don't like when I vlog on my phone, so I'm trying to, you know, just work on my content a little bit more. I know I'm not the most entertaining person in the world, but that's okay. I am trying harder and harder every day just to better my life in general. I feel like it keeps going in and out of some type of setting. That's just what it looks like to me in the viewfinder. So, Anyways, I'm rambling. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Why is my nose so red? <laughs> so there was a long wait at the restaurant. So we have 40 minute wait. So we're at the mall and you guys for a solid forever I'm trying to figure out which blanket to get because the blanket that I got when I first moved, it's, it's, it doesn't warm me up very well. Like it's super cute but it feels like I'm literally being covered up with a paper, a newspaper, like. But I wanted to show you guys this super cute dog. I'm still trying to figure out this business here. The super cute dog uh, welcome mat. Dogs welcome, people tolerated. You guys, if that ain't me, I don't know what is. So 
I know other place other places are doing this but you guys I was not expecting where I live because right now the fair should be going on and since you know what's happening they still wanted people to have fair food so they have some um, fair food set up and here's a game set up I just thought that was so cute and it's also kind of low-key sad and I'm not gonna lie Super Slush Lab sounds freaking bomb. And the funnel cake looks awful good too. That's what you're looking at? Yeah. Over there? That's always been my favorite thing at the fair. Really? There's corn dogs, fries. I'm looking at the slushy because I'm of, hot. There's a lot of nostalgia for me in funnel cake. Tell me a story. Um, we would go to the fair and there would always be like the demolition derby, a yes. uh, pageant, you know, wrestling. And, you know stuff like that and we would sit at the very top row and we would all get um, a funnel cake and share it and then they'd get a blooming onion and eat it I don't like onion so I didn't eat it of course I'd be eating on that onion but <laughs> yeah that's my memory have you ever had the fresh lemonade from the fair yeah now that's my thing because you literally see them make it. I mean, from my experience. I'll tell you back in the day, like uh, 90s, you know, 97, 98, when aliens were a big thing, like they are now, but there was a time period where they really weren't. Um, and I got a giant alien cup and it was full of like some kind of rainbow slush. It oh was so good. my God. Slushies are so fucking bomb. And I kept that cup forever. Did you? Yeah. You don't have it no more, I take it. No. Oh my god, do you see that little girl wearing a mask and her little dress? That breaks my heart. We're like living in a crazy, crazy time right now. Oh, they're waving! <laughs> oh, cute! We're living in a crazy time, aren't we? Like, I was walking into Walmart and I was just like looking at everyone and I was like, this is not what I expected to go through while being alive, you know? Yeah. Like, this is something you only see in movies. Anyways, don't want to talk about that sadness. We are on our way to Target, you guys, because... Yeah. <laughs> I look beat to the gods in a bad way. Wow. I look like someone literally beat me up. <laughs> but we just got out of Target. That's where we are right now. And it is a weird, weird thing, but I only get recognized when I'm not wearing makeup. Point blank, period. Recognized today, not wearing makeup. Yesterday I was wearing makeup, I was not recognized. Day before that, I was recognized. I was not wearing makeup. And I'm looking like a fool in these photos. But you guys, if you ever see me, come say hi. I love to chat it up. I am very awkward. I do uh, have anxiety and um, I might ramble and make no sense. And like, I have major anxiety and that's why I kind of shrink into the background and don't talk to no one. <laughs> whatever, yeah. Whatever, it was two days ago, Becky was in the first photo ever with well, a fan. I mean, it is the first time anybody said, hey, do you want to get in the picture? <laughs> but usually I just stay away because I know that they're not there for me. They're there for you. No, they're there for you too, sweet loves. They are. But like, I hate saying fans. I'm sorry. It's just that is the first thing people always come up and say, I'm a huge fan of you. And they're always so freaking sweet. I'm in a weird mood. I'm kind of in some pain. Like my back low key hurts. Kind of like where your lungs slash maybe kidneys are. So that's fun. I know I don't have like kidney problems or lung problems, but you guys, I look rough. I will say the quality of this camera is not. What are you trying to do? Oh, no, that was person. It me? Yeah, that person in front of us wasn't going. So the person behind us honked. But what I was saying is like, I feel like the quality of this camera isn't as good as my other camera. I feel like my other camera like made some of my blemishes go away and it made me look, it made me look pale, but I kind of like low key like that. I know that sounds like so weird. Like what am I even saying? Anyways, so we got a few to the edamame. So this isn't just mine. I want to let you guys know. It's also Becky's. Y'all, I'm staying tired for real. I'm gonna do a quick Target 
slash Walmart haul for you guys. So if you guys remember, I accidentally bought one set of these. I ended up buying another. Literally, it just comes with this one set. So I got that. Got this beautiful mirror. Oh my God, it's kind of heavy. Ugh. Jeez, Louise. Got this really pretty mirror. You guys, it's hard to show you, but I mean, I'm sure you'll get the gist here. A really, really gorgeous mirror. And I needed a new blanket. I got this one. I was debating between this one and a gray one just like it. But I just decided on that. I got two of these light gray pillows and two of the... Why did I call them pillows? See, I'm losing it. Two light gray towels, two dark gray towels, and I got four of these. <laughs> They're like a really pretty uh, milky blush pink. It's not really being picked up on camera very well. I got a new purse, which I've been really wanting a new purse lately. Got this from Target in case you guys want to go look. There's also black that you can get as well. I notice I'm not staring at you guys at all. I'm strictly just staring here. This is where the, oh my God, you guys. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to, okay. Um, got these really pretty earrings. These really pretty earrings. And these really pretty earrings. As you guys can tell, I love me some hoops. And we needed a little bit more dishes because when we have guests over or whatever, we want to be able to have enough dishes for everyone. So we did get four of these. I love these. Like that, just that simple little cuteness. So we got four small and four big. So you guys can imagine what that looks like. So I don't have to get them all out because they're all individually wrapped. And then I got some bowls. I got two of these bowls. I thought they were super cute. And two of these. I love the shape of those. So freaking adorable. Love that. So from the looks of it, this freaking room is a mess if you guys saw it you'd be like wow okay now i see why we're not getting the um apartment tour like the rest of the house beautiful spick and span living its best life because i make sure to clean it every day all day but i'm just not i'm using our bedroom right now as a place to just put things until i figure out what i want to do with it anyways i'm rambling i'm gonna go i I have a lot to put away, a lot to clean. I'm a little overwhelmed, but it is what it is, right? Adulting. Okay, you guys, so this is my old camera. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna return this. Um, this is my new camera in my hand right here. That I'm shaking. Um, I, I don't like it, so I think what I'm gonna do is if this camera messes up again like it did during that Target haul, I'm just going to rebuy this camera. So I'm going to return this, get my money back, which is about the same price as the camera I'm currently using, which I prefer. It's easier to use. Um, I like the lighting better. Um, if anything, I feel like this camera is better for vlogging than this one is. I... It's just my opinion and it's a lot easier for me when it comes to like putting my videos um, on a device to edit. It's just so much easier by a landslide. So, I mean, I tried the new camera. It actually sucks. I actually hate it. I dropped it, hate it. So I hope that I kept the receipt. Um, if we didn't, I guess I can gift it to someone because that's usually what I do when I'm tired of something or don't want it anymore but I really hope we have the receipt because that's pricey but um the camera that I'm currently using that I love and I recommend is the Canon G7X Mark II it is the best a lot of a lot of vloggers use it to be honest I love it it is what it is I will say the best part about this camera was that it um focused 
really well this one don't um you know there's gonna be pros and cons to everything but i feel like overall this isn't good it's very shaky i was editing and i noticed when i was doing my grocery haul that was like super shaky and like when i was at the mall i'm just not there was just a lot on my chest that i needed to talk about but honestly i'm so glad that i made the choice to continue i love this psychologist literally it's everything i've ever looked for in therapy i i truly truly love her don't want to lose her and i know she doesn't want to lose me um she really wants me to be her patient and i want her to be my psychologist so yeah we just vibe very well in that sense it's very like professional and i love that because like in the past with like counseling and stuff like there's always like this weird friendship level where they try to like become my friend and like I, what like two therapists ago like she was showing me her instagram i'm like this isn't the vibe I want. I need someone who's professional, you know, and here to heal my trauma or to help me heal it. So I am back to doing that. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be happy because a lot of you are very upset that I quit. So we're back in action though. So Rarity loves to like look out the window and stuff. On top of here, I used to just like, like have some of my pens and stuff. Oh my God, my hair is literally everywhere. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a blanket up here. And I ended up putting a little bit of catnip and she was like going to town, like literally rolling herself all over. Rarity Gray, yeah, you was, weren't you? She's so sweet. Well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this beauty. My hair is a super frizzy mess, so ignore that. So right now, I'm just eating pork chops. <laughs> I had two thin pork chops, so, you know. I'm actually counting calories, and I am back on the weight loss train. For a minute there, I lost myself. I was binging a little bit, overeating a little bit, but I know the only way I could be successful is if I am consistent. That's what it is. It's like I'll lose 20 pounds, gain 30. I'll lose 10 pounds, gain five. Like, it's just like back and forth and I hate it so much, so. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on this book, Let's Get Home. If you plan on reading it, skip forward just a little teeny bit because there will be spoilers. So this book is about a really bad earthquake. A mother of a little baby gets stuck trying to make it home. A foster child gets stuck because the earthquake, earthquake trying to make it home, they end up meeting. So they haven't met yet, and I'm already on page 119. So far I like it, but I'm actually kind of surprised. There's a lot of talk about, um, which I was not expecting at all. So that's been kind of hard to read, but so far I do enjoy it. And I'm just crossing my fingers that the mother of the little baby, who's trying to make it home to her baby, um, ends up fostering the girl that she meets because um, it's pretty much like a t-shirt moment now and not like this weird, awkward, like wannabe dress. Baby? I was vlogging. <laughs> Do you want to see who follows me for my showers? Let me show you. This one. This one follows me. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I have a little mini grocery haul. It's just quick, straight to the point. So let's get into it. I got some of my most favorite cereal in the whole world. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. A whole cup of it is only 170 calories. And to me, I feel like it's worth it. Um, obviously, needed some milk. So I just got some whole milk, which is 150. So literally a bowl of cereal is a little over 300 calories which is perfect and i'm not trying to deprive myself realistically for me myself and i the only way i can be successful in this weight loss journey is by simply just eating in moderation because by taking certain foods out of my diet i'm just ugh. failure is gonna happen that is like when the binging starts and stuff like that so the next thing i got is chicken sausage roasted garlic so many things you could do with that i don't know what it is 
low-key craving stuffing. So I got some chicken stuffing. The stove top. There's nothing better. There isn't. I also got some crackers. Chicken. This is chicken and a biscuit. <laughs> um, I used to love these when I was like a little kid. So I haven't had them in so long. I might have had them like once or twice in the last like 20 years. So I'm curious if I still like those. Um, so for the crackers, I got some Wee Brie. It is Brie flavor spreadable cheese wedges, which are so good. I got, I kind of want to do a taste test for you guys because I've never had dates before. And this is dates rolled in coconut. I was trying to look for like a healthier alternative to like a dessert moment. Um, I do use the cereal as a dessert. Nine times out of 10, that is not a breakfast. That's like a dessert for me. But I wanted something a little different. So we're going to try those. Also got me some fruits already cut up because you guys know me and a knife. We don't, we don't get along. I recently tried raspberries for the first time and I might have fallen in love. So I got some. Oh my God. I'm like actually so excited. I kind of want to freeze them. I love frozen blueberries. Like blueberries that aren't frozen, no. But then once I freeze them, I'm like, okay, we can handle this, we can handle this. I also love frozen grapes, so I feel like I'm gonna freeze those, yeah. So I got some Nexus conditioner, because I'm running out of my shampoo and conditioner, and Nexus shampoo. Tell me why Nexus is so expensive, it's like disgusting. And I got a Dove Advanced Care Coconut Deodorant, because I have officially ran out okay so i'm currently doing laundry and it sounds like my washer it sounds like a rocket ship about to take off so don't mind that but it's time for our torrid so i really was in the mood to try something on so let's do it all right so you kind of feel how many more things do i have in here one two maybe three. Ooh, there's something small oh wait i forgot I got a necklace. Wait, I'm so excited. Oh, it is stunning. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So it's a white chain, a gold chain, and a pink chain. This is literally me in a necklace. Let's try it on, shall we? It wasn't for my weight loss. No, this would not have fit, especially around this part. It has pockets. It's extremely lightweight. I love how this makes my boobies look. So I'd say overall, I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. Now I'm gonna put on my choker. Literally just makes all outfits look a million times better. Okay you guys, so I figured in this vlog, I can add more of me reacting to one of my videos. So if you guys haven't seen this segment of my vlogs yet, I am reacting to this three-part series that I did where I talk about 30 struggles that I had being this size. So these videos are from years ago, like a few years. And I do see improvements and it's like I haven't seen these videos in forever. So I'm definitely curious like the way that I'm staying stagnant, like things that are still a struggle for me. Or like I want to see like things that I'm actually getting better at. Number seven is I'm too big for gym equipment. This kind of... Like, uh, this one hurts a lot because this is a new, this is a new struggle. Um, I went to the gym a couple months ago and I was like, yes, let's do this. I'm so freaking excited because I remembered how I used to feel at the gym. I used to feel so good. I love the elliptical. The elliptical is my gym. So this is true. Um, it's weird. When I lived in Virginia, I loved going to the gym. It was honestly one of my most favorite things to do. I know that's probably weird. You guys hearing Amberlynn Reed loving the gym. I loved it. I had way better stamina back then. So like going to the gym wasn't like this huge chore for me. It was genuinely just like fun. So it was actually this year that I'm filming this. Um, I decided to join a gym and I was really excited. I was like, okay, I don't have as good stamina as I used to have, but I still will enjoy the gym, right? So I joined a gym. I went to the gym. I got on the treadmill. It wouldn't work for me. I got on it and like the, like the little moving situation type deal 
wasn't moving. So I was like, oh, this treadmill is like, doesn't work. Got on the next one. Oh, that treadmill don't work either. So I was like, okay, what's going on? So I put two and two together and I was like, okay, I think my weight is playing a big role. So I was like, let me go try the elliptical. Cause like I was saying here, I loved me an elliptical moment. No, the elliptical didn't work either. Long story short, I am too big for most equipment at gyms. They do make equipment for people my size, but for some reason gyms don't have them, which is so odd to me because it's like in the USA, especially there are people this size and there are people this size who do want to go to the gym. And the fact that there's no like gym equipment accommodating to that is very strange to me. I actually would love to join a gym like Planet Fitness or something because 24 seven, I prefer to go like late at night, like a midnight moment because that's like when less people are there. But um, I would love to join a gym, but it's like, I can't right now because I'm just too big for the equipment. It's very strange. So first thing I do is I got on the treadmill and I was, I turned it on and I was trying to walk and it wouldn't move. I was too heavy. The little, um, you know, the thing that moves the belt or whatever, it wouldn't move. I was too heavy. And I was like, are you serious? This is so embarrassing. Like I was so embarrassed. So mm -hmm. I was looking around and I found some bigger oh. treadmills. So I went and got on yeah. those. I explained the story in this, but it was just now you're just re-listening. I couldn't, you know, use the treadmill that I wanted to go on from the begin with. So I ended up um, going on the treadmill for, you know, it was probably like eight minutes. And then I went to go to the elliptical, which I was super excited. I want to make it very clear, very clear that I made the situation seem less extreme. And I think it was because I was embarrassed and I was in denial. See, that's another reason why I love filming these videos because like I'm able to be like, you guys, <laughs> the true tea, uh, you guys, the way that I was really feeling. Super excited for So I got on the elliptical and I pressed play. And every single time I'd start moving, it was like flashing. It was like, pause, pause, pause. And it was because I was too big. I literally was like breaking the machine, I feel like. So that's one of the reasons why. Like I thoroughly am in love with this person and it's like they feel the exact same way towards me. And I don't know if I've ever truly felt that type of love. Your personality doesn't seem organic. You seem to absorb other people's traits, likes, and hobbies and go hard with it until something new comes into your life. You appear to change with the tide. So not true. And the reason why I know this isn't true is because being friends with Eric, Ricky, and Becky, even being in a relationship with Becky for almost five years, like we're complete opposites. Eric and Ricky's hobbies and likes are completely different from mine. If you knew me in real life, or knew the people in my life, they would definitely tell you that I'm not a chameleon. I stand for my opinions, I stand for my hobbies, my likes, my dislikes, and I wouldn't change that for anybody. I know a lot of people have said like, oh my God, you're changing so much, blah, blah, blah. Like who's this new Amber Lynn? I just feel like I'm finally able to find myself when I have been so trapped. Like I just literally feel like I've been so trapped. It's almost like I found the key to the cage and I'm letting myself out. The person who I was eight years ago isn't gonna be the same as I am now. And sometimes like the person who I was even three months ago is going to be different because you grow, you change, you experience new things, learn new things. And what I love about life is like, you're constantly discovering yourself. Does being alone scare you? If the answer is no, how can you justify your constant relationships? Are you trying to fill a void? No hate. I understand how it feels to be scared to be alone. The constant relationships, I think it's all coincidental. It just always seems like it works out that way. But I do like to share my life with someone. I would prefer to be in a relationship over being single. But I don't just like get into relationships so I don't have to be alone. Absolutely not. Do you wax or shave your... Um, okay, so this is a juicy question. Uh, do I answer this? Let's just say, <laughs> let's just say I don't have a lot of hair down there. Okay, moving on. If your new girlfriend really is local, then why were you alone the whole Thanksgiving weekend? She was with her family for the weekend and I was invited, which, oh my God, that made me feel really good, honestly. But due to my size, I personally just did not think that I wanted to travel that far so i'm hoping like next year i can actually do it do you think the removal of youtube dislikes showing on videos will affect your channel positively negatively or not at all i think it's going to be a bittersweet moment 
I know there are a lot of people who like to click on my video just to dislike it, which is like such a power trip. It's like almost creepy. So it's gonna be nice, like these power in time, I would literally die. What did I just read? Someone said, if you were a man and hired to be a caregiver and then dated them, would you be out of prison by now? What? What do you look for romantically when you're in a relationship? What love language do you respond most to? Affection and words, without a doubt. Like, I want lots of affection and I don't want it to be like forced. I want to seriously feel like we have that chemistry. Like, I love when someone doesn't want to keep their hands off of me. I'm just like being honest. Because nine times out of 10, if you don't want to keep your hands off of me, I also don't want to keep my hands off of you, so. And I love to just constantly be told that I'm loved. Like, I love you or you look beautiful or just like, I can't wait to marry you. <laughs> like, I'm just very like, I'm cheesy. I, I really am. So give me all the cheese. Who's your favorite Amberlynn Reed reactor and who's your least favorite? Least favorite, super easy, Charlie Gold. And if I have to explain why, then I just ain't got the time. I ain't got the time. And my favorite used to be Alex Shook until in one of his recent videos, he said that he hates that he was associated with me in one of my recent Let's Talk videos. So you know what? I just won't talk about him anymore. Like he genuinely hurt my feelings. Like he associates his channel with me. Like his whole channel is of me. And then I say one thing about him and he, he just didn't like it. And I was just like, Ugh. I don't know. It's just, it kind of, it just made me sad because I genuinely liked him, but I'm still gonna consider him my favorite because he's like the most peaceful to watch. Do you think you show the most authentic version of yourself online? The whole Christmas tree thing in your last vlog was what prompted it. That felt disingenuous and kind of pre-planned. You know what's really funny about that is I thought literally the same thing because I have never filmed myself going to get my Uber Eats order. And then the one time I do, there's a big ass Christmas tree outside my door. Like while I was editing it, I was like, oh my God, people are gonna think this is so fake. But I promise you that was just like perfect timing. But to answer your question, no, I'm actually not my most authentic true self on camera. I think that tends to be kind of hard because I am just like sitting here literally talking to a device. It's like I know there are thousands of people watching me but it's just it's not the same compared to like if you get to know me as like a person and not just as a YouTuber. What pushed you to finally take your weight gain slash loss seriously? Why now and not after the whole cancer ordeal? Whether you're a food addict, drug addict, alcoholic, you only will change when you actually want to change. Honestly, me getting diagnosed with cancer, like I was losing weight around that time, as you guys know. So I thought I was doing the thing. I was like, oh my God, I'm losing weight. I'm like bettering myself, especially for surgery because I had to get the full hysterectomy. So I thought I was doing the damn thing. But then after I had the hysterectomy, I gained almost like, what was it? 90 pounds i'm probably off a little bit that's when i realized was i only losing weight because i had cancer like i truly don't know if that's the answer but i think that the cancer thing put me in a weird headspace and you know i got really depressed like you guys saw this it was like i just kept getting more depressed more closed off and in return i just ate my feelings but it's like now that I'm in a relationship where I'm supported in a way that I never have been before and I'm like actually thoroughly happy. Like this is what happiness feels like. It's like, I have no reason to turn to food like I used to. Don't get me wrong. I have my cheat days and my, my, my weak moments, but it's like, there's a future. There's a freaking future out there. I'm so tired of being trapped in this damn body y'all like i am over it like literally over it like i'm gonna use a little bit of a metaphor here before i started taking this weight loss seriously and before like i realized wow this is what happiness feels like i kind of felt like i was in a field of grass that was like three times the height that i was with just fog, like thick ass fog for miles. Like it's just grass and fog for miles and I'm just standing in the middle of it. And that's all I knew. No matter where I moved, no matter what I looked at, 
it was just grass and fog. Like I couldn't, I know I get judged on my skin. I am constantly being told I need to get my liver checked as if I don't know that my skin has a yellow tint to it as if my doctors don't know. Um, it's hard to constantly hear, it's frustrating. Ultimately, it's embarrassing and I have been hating to show my face. And I have also been going through a depression which has made it to where I don't want to do my makeup. So it's like this vicious cycle where I'm like, okay, I need to do my makeup so I can film my YouTube video, but I can't do my makeup because I'm depressed. And ugh, if you have depression, you understand, you know, depression makes it to where the easiest of tasks feels virtually impossible it makes it feel like you're literally trying to carry the eiffel tower on your back when you just need to brush your hair you know it's really not that hard but depression makes it impossible and that's kind of what i'm going through i just need to say f it and i need to come on here without makeup and say screw it i want to film i want to talk and I don't need art on my face to do so. And the fact that I have to sit here like and explain this and talk about this is so mind blowing to me. It's just, I have been, for the lack of a better term, I have been made fun of because of it in the last months, my skin tone and it's just not okay. And it just, ultimately, I don't wanna talk about it anymore and I just wanted to let you guys know that this might be small to you, but it's been big to me. It's been very, it's been a very big, large portion as to why I have not been uploading much on my channel because I have to be wearing makeup to do so. And I don't want to feel, you know, live stream one because I want to do the live streams and then also save them to my channel. I don't know how often I'll be doing the live streams. Um, I don't know how often I'll be doing the weigh-ins, but they're going to be definitely, it's going to be a consistent thing on my channel for sure. I used to do live streams a few times a day years ago, and I love it and I miss it. I don't know how often. And then I also used to do weigh-ins all the time, and I want you guys to kind of know what I'm going through with my weight. And YouTube is trying to make it to where we can talk more freely with our weight and we can use a little bit more adult vocabulary. Um, they've tried to change their terms a little bit. It's not gonna be anything like super crazy, but I think they're slowly trying to make it to where like adults can speak about adult things and still monetize their videos. So regarding other content with my channel, we're still gonna stick to like the random videos, the hauls and the this and the that, but live streams and weigh-ins are definitely gonna be on that, uh, that YouTube menu. What? Okay, so my weigh-in for today, I was at 544.0. I recently had someone ask me like, why are you so nonchalant about weighing, you know, over 500 pounds? And I think it's because you become numb to it. That's honestly the best way to describe it is like you become numb to it. Even last year when I lost almost 100 pounds, I was even numb to me losing almost 100 pounds. It's just weight to me has become such a burden. I am constantly thinking about my weight and I'm constantly thinking about food and it's become to the point where it's just like, oh, this again? Definitely in a future video, I am going to talk more about like how I'm losing weight, how I plan to lose weight, um, the things I am have already done and what I plan to be doing to better my health and things like that. I do want my weight loss to be a big focus on my channel because it needs to be a big focus in my real life. I just don't want to set myself I'm on video, you know, talk and talk and talk about my life and confess things and talk about things and like people just assume that I'm not telling the truth. So the first one is you are tired all the time. No, I wouldn't say that I'm tired all the time. I do feel like sluggish, but high. My vitamin D is like almost in the negatives. You hate pedicures. I don't hate them, but I definitely would not go get them done professionally because 
I don't want people all up in my feet, especially if you're strangers. You don't like the engagement ring Becky got you. 100% false. I actually picked them out myself. The thing was, mm -hmm, skirt, skirt, let's rewind here. Two years ago on the willy nilly, I, I sent her these two engagement rings that I absolutely love. And I wasn't thinking anything of it. The fact that she got me the exact ones that I asked for and that she saved that for that long is like goals. Even if she didn't get the ones I picked out, I would love whatever she picked out because it's like, it's the meaning behind it. And I feel like a lot of people keep focusing on the size of the rock, the price of the rock, how it looks, who bought it. And it's so stupid. It's the thought behind it. You stalk all of your exes on all social media platforms. No, I have no reason to stalk all my exes when I'm happy with my current fiance. Woo! You don't plan on losing weight for your wedding. I do plan on losing weight for my wedding. You know in your heart you'll never be under 400 pounds. I'm not saying that. I just think it's what you believe. Honestly, I guess in my gut, I feel like you're right. That I, that's probably more than any other assumption. You guys, I am not in love with destiny at all in any shape or form i don't know how many times that i literally have to say it i wish someone would hook me up to a lie detector test i can tell you that much because no shade no tea destiny knows how it is i do not and will not and would not ever be in a relationship with her again we don't jive well like that. She, I literally feel like she's like a cousin or something. And I know she feels the same way. And I know that's like really weird to say, but like we've gotten to that point where it's very just like unconditional and like we feel like family. So you guys saying stuff like that is so weird to me because we're beyond past this. It's been over four years. I don't know if you guys realize this, but it's been over four years. Come on now. Move on. You enjoy the negative attention. No, not in the way that you guys probably think. It's like, sometimes I appreciate it because it keeps the ball rolling. But I don't like the negative attention where people make up shit. Like that's the part where I'm just like, okay, we need to slow down for a second. Because by making up stuff, my literal reputation on YouTube is created by a bunch of people who hate me and it's like for a while there I was like oh my god am I crazy like am I this am I these ways that people make me seem to be but then everyone in my real life is like Amberlynn no we know the real you calm down it's okay if it wasn't for the people in my real life I probably um would be going more crazy than I'm already going. You can't properly clean yourself after using the bathroom. Doesn't seem scientifically possible, this person said. Well, you're not a scientist. Yes, I can clean myself properly after using the restroom while showering. Why does every fat person get pinned under the same crap that we all just can't wash ourselves? That's not how it goes. Some of us are more flexible. I assume you stole money from all your Patreon subs. No, I would never in a million years ever steal money or anything from anyone. I got three subs on Patreon. I even filmed myself doing it. I refunded all three of them and it takes five to seven days for them to get their money back. I would never steal people's money. There's probably mushrooms and fungi growing in your folds. Well, damn, how did you know? Your face probably feels rough. Actually, no, my face is really soft. My whole body is really soft. I would say the least softest place would probably be the front of my calves if I had to choose, but like literally my skin is actually pretty soft. The color theme of your wedding will be light pink and gold. Nope. Becky and you will both keep your names after the wedding. <laughs> No, um, we have talked a little bit about this. No matter what, we both will have the same last name. We just don't know who's going to take whose, if we're going to hyphenate, like create our own last name. We don't know that yet, but we both will, it'll end up being the same last name. You're jealous of Dana. What? 
why would I be jealous of her? I love Dana. Like, I love her. She's a great person, beautiful. But it's like, what? what? I'm not jealous of anyone, honey. Maybe the person with all the Louis Vuitton in their closet, but that's about it. Deleted your posts about your Patreon. That's unfortunate. You doctor shop. No, I just know when something's wrong and you're allowed to get a second opinion and you're allowed to get a third opinion. And if you have to, you're allowed to get a fourth opinion. Every single time that I have felt within my soul that something was wrong with my body, I've been right. You are manic depressive and when you go through mania and spend money on things to cope, yes, this does happen um, because I am bipolar. You don't actually want to lose weight. I do want to lose weight a lot, like very badly. You like anime. Mm, I like going to anime conventions because everyone there is just so welcoming and it's fun. I've been to like so many and every time I've went, it's just been ugh, so fun for me. But watching anime, I feel like I have to find the right one. I kind of want to give Strawberry Panic a go um, and see how that goes. I do read manga though. I do enjoy that. You won't stick to an upload schedule. Nope. You have already started buying for the wedding. The only thing I have bought has been a wedding planner. I really want to take it slow. I truly find the things that I want in my wedding and not just be like, oh my God, I want this. I want that. Oh my God, that's perfect. I want to do this. I want to go there. I want to do that. No, I need to take a step back and calm down. You will never be able to travel because of your size and that makes you sad. So I can travel at this size. Would it be hard? Yes. But is it possible? Yes. But being able to willy nilly travel and be comfortable by doing it, it can't happen. And am I sad about it? Most definitely. You avoid buying shoes. No, I actually recently have bought some. You eat more than what you have shown in your videos. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, It's okay to have an assumption. But every single time, okay, this is starting to burn. Look at how crusty. Ah, it's like burning. Okay, sorry, back to this. Um, Every single time I have filmed a what I ate today video. Oh, this don't feel good. You know what this feels like? That I just played with a bunch of like wet clay and I didn't wash my hands after. Ugh. Every single time I have filmed a what I ate today video, that is strictly what I ate in that day. I have never faked it or anything like that. You still don't have health insurance. I do. Your I'm engaged video was so sad because you ain't actually happy. I seemed sad in that video. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to be engaged to Becky and knowing one day she's going to be my wife. I, it makes me, uh, I get butterflies in my stomach. I feel like I'm going to cry. I get super emotional. This warm, fuzzy feeling just like elopes my whole body. I'm sorry that I portray that differently online. If only you guys would have been there when she proposed, you guys. I cried and I laughed because how she did it was so, I can't explain it. It's like this little switch that you have to kind of have. Um, I don't know how to explain it. You literally just assume everyone hates you sometimes. And the only reason why is because I feel like the hate is so much louder than the love. You have OCD. Yes. And yes, I was diagnosed. Calm down. Actually, the things I do because of my OCD kind of gets under Becky's skin. Okay, wait, I worded that wrong. It doesn't get under Becky's skin, but we've definitely had talks where some of the things that I do doesn't frustrate her, but it, it doesn't annoy her. It like, it's just hard for her to deal with. And my OCD tendencies that I do have, I do not talk about them on YouTube. I have edited out a lot of it. That is one thing. Oh God, I hate talking about this. Out of everything that's wrong with me, having OCD, I feel the most ashamed of. And please, if you have OCD or OCPD, which hi, please don't get offended because I'm literally going through what you're going through probably not as bad or you might have it less than me you never know but i'm not saying that you should be ashamed i'm just saying me as a person my story the things that i do i feel ashamed especially people in my life i feel like i get on people's nerves a lot because of the things that i do i'm embarrassed by it and it's like i can't control it and sometimes i have to literally sit there and tell myself 
I'm sorry, you guys. This is just, you know, one of my moments, my OCD moments. And people in my life understand. And I remember one time um, I was being, like, it was really bad. And um, Becky's sister was staying the night. And she said, it's okay. Like, I understand because you have OCD. Like, it was so... It just made me feel so much better because I was like, I I seem like I'm crazy. Again, lack of a better word is the reason why I use that. Like, I seem like I'm losing my mind. But then she like literally validated. She's like, I understand you can't control it. So that just made me feel a lot better. And I don't open up about this because I feel like a lot of people also think I'm lying. Because I have opened up about one of my OCD things that I do among hundreds of others is I pick I pick a lot um I pick all my scabs and I have made a video about it before and people are like you're a liar it's diabetic wounds and I'm just like Ugh, I can't talk about anything that is like serious to me because people make it so like ugh and like vile and it makes me not want to open up about it you want to do over the moment Becky asked to marry you. Yes. Oh my God. I would replay that moment over and over and over and over and over and over and over. You don't actually enjoy filming videos. You just do it because it's easy money. No, I enjoy YouTube. I always have. You would like me to paint or draw a cute picture of you and Becky celebrating engagement. Oh my God. Yes. Anyone can draw us. I honestly love fan art so much. That you're beautiful. No, no. You love Trump. No, hated him since day one, you guys. Four years ago, I made a video about how I hate Trump and people were so mean. So I deleted it. You have ability to reflect on yourself and admit to your wrongs. Yes, I do it all the time. You see yourself smaller than you actually are. Yes. You're a very loving person and would do just about anything for anyone without hesitation. Yes. You're a human and you aren't perfect. 